And it, uh, oh, it's in the goal. Anton, Miko, Nasi were involved there. I think they were fighting for P7 and P8. Looks like Alif has not really covered much after dropping to P8. Wait, in the goal, Anton has yet to pick, you know. I think he's going to come in now, yes. Inigo has been in and out, and the end result is he drops three places. The best of the Filipinos, he's in P8 at the moment. Looks like he's enjoying it, but he's in splendid isolation. No cars for uh, Joaquin Garrido. Anton carries Luke Bannister as we look at the battle here for P2. He's going to make a move there. Bannister moves on the outside, Inigo Anton. This is definitely going to be his standout race here. He's, he knows that now. He's going to face the challenge, the best of the best here on this platform. Rido and Mika Kimi having a bit of fun. Uh, the two youngsters. So Luke Bannister is the race leader. Whoa! Big accident! Anton is in the pits, but he caught Luke Bannister. I think Anton's going to get a penalty for that. Now Anton has come out. He's in fourth place. Inigo Anton keeps holding on to the tail end of Ali. Ibrahim has actually overtaken Anton. This is crucial here. Is a run. Whoa! Whoa! Look at that. Ali from Berwin. Inigo Anton is the new race leader. Inigo Anton is the winner of race two. We know what happened and I got the belt beat, which dropped me down to fifth. and Joaquin Garrido, they're both into the pits, so that's an early stop. So Joaquin Garrido into the pits, Zini into the pits, so this is the third time Joaquin's come into the pits. Oh yeah, weird strategy. Yeah, I'm not sure what GT Radio Eurasia doing at this time, he's going to lose even more because this is green flag pit stops. Anton has actually smacked the inside wall all the way into the pits, so he actually is in the pits properly, but that is a very fast entrance, he might get a drive through penalty for that. Alif leads on lap 55 of 80. Drags Inigo Anton with him. Inigo Anton is back in the lead for the first time since uh, race control cruelly ripped him of his victory last week. So Inigo Anton into the pits. Ali tries to challenge Inigo for second and then Inigo manages to hold on to second place. Oh, and he does have a go. Oh, oh no! Contact. Unlucky. Let's look at Inigo Anton. He's down in P5. Inigo Anton and Naki Basan are swapping positions. A place back though on the last lap. Oh, Eight oh. seconds to go. Naki spins out. As Inigo dives on the inside of Miko Nasi. What a move. The thing that in race one he got taken out there. But there you go. Up to third. They give each other space. And Aaron Lip. Oh! Well, just as I say that, there we go. Anton just knocks him out. Anton's found a way past Miko Nasi. They were side by side through the chicane. Anton tries to take the lead and in go Anton oh. then goes over loses it disaster from Anton oh what has he got to do to win a race in in go with Anton lead. then flies into trouble he's not happy but is in P7 Anton we all know how quick he is and can be that's a terrific starter. Anton looking at the outside, Blomchimon. Oh, they touch each other, and Anton lost the wheel, I think, for a second. As Joachim Garrido gets us underway, and Joachim Garrido gets a good start. But his teammates at the front challenging for the lead, and he goes back in front ahead of Dominic Gang. Uh, this is how Garrido lost the lead, actually. And yeah, he ran wide across uh, Lake Com, and under pressure from Nasi. So there is Mohamed Ibrahim, moves into P3. Garrido has done well, Alex Young. Well, what, nearly seven minutes in, and he stayed, stayed in contention up at the top. But now he's dropping down, further down. He's dropped down to P6, Garrido. Inigo Anton, P6. He's going to pick up useful points again, but not a podium, not big points, Ammo. Now Josh Thomas thinking of the same thing. Backs off, gets the slipstream, and overtakes Anton for six. Like, cuts across there for good measure to defend. There is Joaquim Garrido, who at one stage was at the front. He's dropped down to P11. 